yeah, this uh, fully realistic thing that I've tried to do. <laughs> oh, oh, I got the distance. No, I took you along with me. Oh, I always momentum. Beat you. you cannot beat momentum. I have said multiple times that I don't like 3D modeling. It just, it is, it takes way too long and my videos would be like maybe once or twice a year sort of thing if I had to go through it all. But the Steinwinter Supercargo? Well, that's a different story. This was a concept which apparently is not entirely unique just to the Steinwinter, had been done a few different times, but this was probably the coolest one out there as shown by here it's got a supercar interior now unfortunately i can't show you any like b-roll of video footage because it turns out that there really wasn't any you can see a little bit of a similar sort of vehicle showing up in an old tv show called highwayman sure but i don't know anything about it though so i got to thinking how do i solve this issue I want to make the Steinwinter, I want to make it like a supercar Steinwinter, but I don't want a 3D model. So why don't I just try seeing if I could shove a normal car under a truck? Now most of the time, this wouldn't go so well for people. But we're in BMG, so we can just keep trying and trying until things work. Now, I have seen that this thing is not particularly great at towing. As per this post on Reddit, apparently it can't carry 34,000 liters of milk. Now, for those of you working in funny numbers, I'm not even going to ask my editor to translate because it's a lot. So we're going to have to do a few different things. One, probably some sort of transmission upgrade. Two, we're going to have to get this fifth wheel and somehow mount it on the top here. Probably going to have to create some sort of exoskeleton so it can attach to the under chassis area. And then three, it'll be a bit of a struggle. But I think if I cut away the fenders enough, I can totally stick these wheels on this car. Oh, hold on. Is it so wide that maybe I could just stick them on the outside and not have to cut away the fenders at all? That would be awesome. Hmm. We could almost get away with just having the outside tires on. Though I'm probably still going to have to cut the fenders away. That I can do, though. That's not particularly the hardest thing to do. All right. I think we have a plan. And then we give it a little bit of thickness and turn its resolution down. It will become a square. Unfortunately, it's rotated 90 degrees. Apparently, Control T will. Oh, it does. Okay, let's Control T 90. No, nope, 45. Perfect. Okay, we now have a bit of a box tube going on, and we put one at the front, or you know, it does have to be in front of the door, so that is a thing. Paste it in here, and we'll also grab the J beam data before we move it into place. But at least we're getting an idea. Let's try moving you into place. Wait, some of these things are props. God damn it! Now let's start by moving it forwards. Three point eight forwards then upwards 0 0.3 and then move it upwards into place good okay everything is all hunky-dory nothing is wrong you know aside from this being a little bit problematic then try to get it into a more good position okay I'm kind of happy with this enough and probably some sort of like roof roll gate no Roof accessories probably where we'll put this, even though it's not actually attaching to the roof. But wait a second. That means... I won't be able to use it on the convertible version. Hmm. Okay, well, what slot could that... I suppose, since I'm not going to be using the side skirts... Oh, that's the wrong one. I could probably make it a side skirt. Okay, yeah, I think... That is the smart move. I mean, you don't really want to have a convertible truck, but I think it would be cool to be able to look up and be very, very terrified of the weight above you. Slot type. Okay, well, we only need the one. We'll put that right there. Now that should reveal the new mod I made. That's the wrong side. That is the right side, fifth wheel. Come on, baby. Okay, slide issue. It seems to have broken the gate. Okay, that's a real problem. I don't know what's happening. I have just seen the truck though. The truck doesn't seem to be faring quite so well. My goodness. Okay, uh, oh dearie me. I love when this happens, like catching things in slow motion, moments after disaster, and get to go in and actually have a look at the individual spark bits. That's cool. Anyway, 
Back to what we're doing. First things first, I forgot to put this in. So we'll grab you, make a copy, then put you here. This will be including as, including as well a ball-eyed flex body thing. I could probably make my own section. This doesn't need to be quite so complicated. Now let's add some beams in to the over bracket itself because that's where a lot of this was causing problems and this will be fun yeah let's just add in a bazillion of these hooray and now with it all attached will it no it does not work oh my god jesus christ well not gone well i think 500 times slower should work and it is the fifth wheel itself Okay, well, I can't see anything now. All right, let's get rid of the fifth wheel top. Refresh again. And unpause. Is that going to be okay? Okay, that's good. It isn't actually attached to the car, so that would be loose. It's the top that's having a problem. Oh, how did I not see this one coming? I'm so dumb. I should have I should have looked at the nomenclature of the nodes here and realized that this was going to be an issue, but I just didn't realize. All right, uh... Is there extra? No, okay, it's just then these. All right, let's give these a unique name then, like X. Now, it'll, okay, that actually makes a lot of sense. Let's go back to normal speed and unpause. Perfect. Okay, we are dealing with the fact that it is still not attached. Now, what can we attach to? We could attach it to the body, but I also kind of want to attach it to the frame. I think the body's just gonna be easier to attach to. And start attaching these two. That'll be fun. Yep. Uh huh. <sighs> why, why, why do I. Why am I even? What's the chances that I've got this working? <laughs> yep, that's exactly what we wanted. Oh, God. Let's turn down the attachment strength because this is different. Oh, okay. We kind of getting there well this is great wait that's the no wait why is there no attachment nodes what i thought this was going to be a simple little video have a little bit of fun they said make a stein winter a uh, super hauler thing it, it looked like good the fuck you wait i figured it out it is attached on this side, so this side is all good. It's this side that's not attached, because I'm an idiot. I just mirrored everything and then went in and changed the names. And for some reason, I thought that the R in FWR, not the character afterwards, was the problem. So I went in and I, I messed it up. Was that all I needed to do to fix it, because I'm an idiot? Yep, that's all I needed to do. God damn it. But hey, at least it's working now. That is phenomenal. And it almost looks as if it's not meant to be completely jank. Now, does the door open? Oh, just. Does it close? You know what? I think I need to slow this down. Four times slower. That, oh. All of the people on the internet are going to hate me for having that little bit of a clip there. But you know what? I don't care. There we go, we're done. Now I suppose to at least at this point test to see if it works. Hopefully the height is right. It's a possibility that it might be not quite right. Please don't be too high because that'll lift us off the ground which will be like the worst thing in the world. Come on, come on. Oh no, it's too high. No, it's too high. Ah. Yep, that's not working. That should do it. Let's try refreshing. What do we get? I mean, it's lower, definitely lower. Are we gonna be able to fit under? Come on, under? Oh no! Looks like it's still too high. <laughs> We're so close! High clutch temperature. That is a problem. Frick. We could do this, Anne. Ah! Perfect! We've got it. Okay. That's. That's, un that's unfortunate. Frick. Okay, well, we do have more options. Spring rate? Let's turn that way up. Same with those. Spring rate all the way up, and same with dampening. Spring height, on the other hand, we might have to raise it up just a smidge. Uh, what about tire pressure? I'm thinking all the way up. Because if the tires don't deform, 
We're gonna be in more luck. And four of us! There we go. Okay, we're attached. What are our chances now? Come on! High clutch temperature. Just, it's completely not happy. The problem is, is if I go the bigger wheels that I wanted, it's going to lift the vehicle up considerably, and then I'm gonna have to drop the fifth wheel down somehow? Hmm. I wonder if I move this backwards and then mount this underneath, I can get it a little bit lower. And... Perfect. Well, now that we've dropped that, we should be able to lift the car up some. So I'm thinking max height. Still got the max spring strength. It's very unhappy. Okay. We're in. We're attached. Okay, well, that's a problem. That's... Yep, yeah, that... Oh, dearie me. Tun transport tunable. Good. Okay, it looks like there's nothing on here. Maybe we'll be able to move that. We can put a bouncing castle on there. That way it won't look as if I'm, like, completely copping out. Yep. Yeah. There we go. We're attached. Come on, still! <laughs> I'm starting to lose my shit! Let's go a bigger engine. Oh, dear. That's... It hates me now. A performance long block. Oh no, there's only manuals. There's no automatic to like help get around that problem. Uh, uh, I Okay, let's fix this roof issue. That is a problem. What is it? Is It's these three that have the issue. All right, with slide node visualization, which is a thing that I didn't know existed, I'm able to see that those are the very specific nodes that are having the problem. The problem is, is I don't know why they're having the problem. Why does that want to be all the way down here? And what advantage does it get from that? My God, what have I done wrong? The next day. All right, it's been a bunch of hours and I've gotten it to a, a point where it's not breaking anymore. It is actually attached, but it is not attached very well. In fact, actually, I know how to fix this. That's meant to be a six. And hurrah. Well, come on. Not actually sure what attached means specifically, but apparently in slide notes, these slide notes here are a problem. I don't know what that means at all. All right, let's get back to trying to get this to attach. I don't know how that broke or what's going on. Come on. It won't even move it. I feel that like the brakes are on. Does this have brakes? I'm not sure. Ah, uh, so yeah, if I even drag it across, brakes are just on. <laughs> That's fun. Having a look here. Okay, that's where it inputs everything. It takes in brake and parking brake. Uh, as for the electronics, oh, uh, you know what? It's import electronics, not export electronics. Then, hold on. If it's importing, why is it written here? You know what? We don't need no brakes. All right, let's try reattaching. <laughs> there we go. Okay, now we can drive. I knew we could. There was just a big, massive problem with the brakes not transmitting properly. That's unusual. But we are getting the results that we want. That is bandedly... Okay, well, the, the wheels are now hollow. God damn it. It's the next day. I'm a little bit tired, but at least I was able to get it to work. So we brought it here to our factory, and I've just got the truck in the background there to show a little bit of a comparison. If we have a look here, we can see we got the engine, we got the clutch, got the gearbox, and then the differential out to the wheels. And then this thing over here called the air compressor, in brackets there, not driven. Because as you can see, it's not connected to the engine. You may be like, oh, weird. But now let's have a look at the truck. You see that we have the engine here, and then we got a pump, and an air compressor, but it is actually, in fact, driven. And if we turn the vehicle on, you'd see that it has the RPMs to match the engine. Now, this is where things were a little bit weird. This had an input index of three. Now, if you don't know how the powertrain stuff works, that's fine, neither do I, really, if I'm being completely honest. But it starts with a zero, then one, then two, then uh, on to however many there are. With the engine, we got one here, probably a two here, and then three here, but there's no zero, which is weird. And that was throwing me for a loop because here, this was set to a three, but there wasn't four things connected. So I put it down to two, forgetting there was meant to be a zero, it still didn't work. And then I went, there's a zero that got it to work. But then we've got this problem. It's not connected. 
and I don't understand why. So it's not the end of the world, but it just... I'm going to run out of breaks eventually, and then they're not going to work properly anymore. Hooray. I suppose one thing I could do is instead have the air tank just be entirely massively oversized, because at the moment it's like at a reasonable amount of value. I could just make that like a bazillion and then not have to worry about the air compressor maybe. Let's go ahead now and import our tires. Where'd they go? Wait, what? Oh, that was the wrong thing. Hold on. Our wheels are tires from the right place. There we go. What? The tires aren't there? All right. What? Let's move you into place and kind of line you up there. This is going to take quite a bit of cutting, but it looks like most of the bumper can stay intact. Most of it. The question is, do I make it a perfect cutout or do I just kind of shift this up a little bit and then cut along the lines? I feel that might be the better option. And delete. Um, it's looking possible for now. I, yeah, I could work with this kind of maybe if I shut my eyes really hard. It'll do. I mean, it's not as if we're making this and being like, oh, wow, this needs to be art. <laughs> you get the idea. Now let's try to do the same to the front. And I, I get the feeling this isn't going to work, actually, now that I look at it. Yeah, that's going into the actual body part itself. Just don't look at it. It'll be fine. She'll be right, mate. I am noticing at the very least I'm gonna have to cut all the way up and around basically the door. That kind of sucks, but let's have a look. Um, it's possible. Then we got to do the whole process of bringing in these fenders and uh, okay. Uh, how do I, there's a lot to do here. Don't need any of those nodes, they can go away. These can move out of the way. <sighs> Too messy. Hmm. Wait, what did I call the wheels last night? I did get them like set up to the point where like they were ready to go in and then I went, okay, good. Now that I know they'll work, I'll go to sleep. Steel front wheels, that's it? That's the whole, great. I'm guessing that, oh, no, hold, no, hold on, yep. At the bottom of the list. There we go. Let's go aluminium front wheels. Okay. Close. Very, very close to working right. As you can tell, not entirely perfect. Hmm. I'm thinking I'm going to need to make custom wheel hubs. That way I can get the wheels to move further inwards. Because at the moment, it's set up for normal wheels, not whatever the hell these are. I might also grab this wheel and put it there, at least the visual part of it, so then this one doesn't like have a big hollow part. All right, there's some work to do. A few problems that we've come across here. Oh God. Uh, for one, the brakes do poke through, so I might have to re-offset the wheels a little bit again and maybe create some sort of like inner hub sort of looking thing. And then these brackets do go through the wheels. That I'm going to have to do something about, because that is, that's not on, bruv, not on. Hmm. I suppose what I could theoretically do here is bring this in and make it look as if it's like mounted onto some sort of internal bracket setup, maybe. And then the rear, I suppose we could just kind of angle it forwards a little bit so then it doesn't quite touch the rear tires. I think that's what we're going to do. How does it drive? Okay. That final drive ratio needs to be changed, but hey, look at that. We are getting, oh my God, the final drive sucks. Oh my God, it's taking forever. There we go, now we get first gear. It's taking me over a hundred kilometers an hour. Oh God, okay, it's a bit unstable. Okay. Huh. Okay, new issue. It cut clips into the fenders, I only just noticed it. But I don't care. From this profile, it looks awesome. If I cared enough, I would probably turn this into some sort of like skid steering sort of thing. But that's a nightmare to set up and I don't want to do that. So we're living with it. It's, it's happening. Let's just quickly take this over to some nice flat ground where I can bring a trailer out. Grab ourselves one of these. We'll go with the big heavy one that I wasn't able to do earlier. And... Let's try this out. Oh, the brakes are sh okay. These brakes have to be massively upgraded. These are no good. Oh, yeah. 
clearance. I forgot that that was a problem. And now, much worse because of these tires that I really shouldn't have tried to put on. Okay. Go. Oh, that clutch is going to be unhappy. High clutch temperature. Yep. But look at that. We're going. We're doing it. Come on. I, I want it to not be burning the clutch by the time that it gets going. We're not actually gaining any speed. And we can't run turbos because the intercoolers don't fit. Oh, you know what? We're going uphill a little bit. It's working! Hell yes. And I went with the colorable wheels because they just, they look better. Oh, yes! Okay, high clutch temperature should be coming down now. Okay, we really, really need a much better differentia. We should have changed gears like probably 10 kilometers ago, uh, in an hour ago. Okay, a little bit downhill. Our engine is overheating considerably. Oh dear. Come on, second gear, second gear, second gear. You can do it. Yes, you can. There we go. Now we cruise. I, ca I can't see. I can't see what I'm doing around the ball light. Oh my god, this is so cool. Okay, we're a little bit narrow as well. Oh, brakes are working. On the trailer, not on the vehicle. Oh, I can't see anything. Oh, this is bad. Okay, yep, you know what? This is helping. Oh, I think I know why they did a cab forward now. This is completely blind driving. Let's see if it can go up a hill. Like, we have really short gearing at the moment. What? Oh, okay. Oh, our ability to control downhill momentum, not great. But hey, look at that. Everything is working well on the rear tires and wheels. That was something we were having a problem with earlier. Okay, good. I fixed it so easily. Oh my God. Okay, apparently this thing will still want to like oversteer <laughs> like a normal supercar. I think maybe having the weight over the rear, uh, like have, having the kingpin over the rear like that, not great. Okay. Do we think this is going to be able to go uphill? Come on. Oh, clutch is going in. Clutch is going in. Nope. Okay. That is no good. We might even have to have a longer diff ratio. You know what? I feel I really, I just, I, I need to show somebody this. Okay. Mighty. What is the biggest problem with the big T-Series truck? Um, it's not a Transformers truck. It's, it's not Optimus Prime. I personally would say that it's not a supercar. Okay. Um, <laughs> what the fuck? Sorry for cursing, but why? <laughs> Again. Okay, wait a second. Let me look at the... You did cu cut the fenders, okay. A little so, bit. Wait, I just noticed the horseshoe on the fucking roof. Again, sorry for saying the bad <laughs> words, but oh my god. Why? <laughs> this is, this is a, I've seen that Australians use some weird cars like youths to transport stuff, but this... <laughs> I don't even know. My god. Well, uh, have you ever heard of the Steinwinter supercarry? I think I did mention it in an episode once. Isn't this like this super flat transport vehicle? Yeah, it is. So that's basically what okay. this is. Okay, yeah. Makes sense. Makes sense. It's just much more cooler, I guess. I mean... Okay, let's see the action. All right. something. Actually, can you tell me if I transform myself into a trailer or something? Oh, some I don't know if you can tow other people. 34,000 liters of milk. Oh, wait. Uh, yeah, so it does struggle with heavy, heavy loads. Let me Ouch. despawn my other vehicles. Try now. All right, let, let's give it a try. I think what Tell I, me, Phil, man. I think <laughs> I am able to tow, but I'm not too sure about that. <laughs> Damn it. Ouch. Can you line up? Can you... Can you... Uh, wait, I'm gonna... Can you regulate the height of the bolide, or is it just... Uh, no. Fixed height? It's... it's okay, it, the, the, the tires so raise the vehicle up way too much, so it's like basically as low as I can make it go. Usually oh. I just drive really fast into it. There we go. Okay. Oh, I think you've oh, crushed my rear wheels. <laughs> Hold on. Oh my god. Oh wait, no. It's <laughs> not going to transfer the braking ability over because these oh, have like a god. weird braking system. So, can oh, you- I raise the brakes now? 
maybe? Yeah, nah, it doesn't look like it. Okay, yeah, sorry. So it cannot hold 34,000 liters of milk, unfortunately. Now, I do have to okay. drive really hard into it, otherwise it'll uh, not make it under. Full speed! <laughs> Made it. This just looks too funny. I, oh, there we yeah. go. Bye. This is so such a cyberpunk <laughs> 2044 thing. Oh my god. Full skill. So this ended I'm up going... being a real big hassle. Yeah. You're not that much slower. I'm going full <laughs> throttle and I... Oh Gearing. <laughs> Gearing is really hurting it. And the fact that this is like two times the normal weight of a vehicle, of a bolide. Welcome to Cyberpunk 2020-77's uh, Queensland or whatever. <laughs> Queensland edition. Old mate edition. Oh my god. Oh god. Ah. There's it some just, slight it issues. Itself. Oh, you forgot to do the linkage thing? You working? Yeah. yeah. Nice. <laughs> my my rear wheels have gone squat. I'm a freaking DeLorean right now. Something's gone wrong. Oh my. <laughs> Stance nation, but the cool way. <laughs> so, not this a... race. Oh, it's also uneven. Drag race? All right, hold on, hold on. Oh. I think my load might be a little bit heavier than yours. But then again, my load's a little bit bigger than most people's. Hey! Like, oh my god. Yeah, my car is broken. Uh, Do a quick what refresh. What I want to say is yeah. that it is better than the T-Series when it comes to maneuvering in tight spaces, right? <laughs> it will be, yes. Okay, we should go to the port and All right. try to... Oh, drag race? All right, maneuver. hold on, hold on. Oh, 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 oh. No, no, I mean, hold on is in like, I want to beat you. <laughs> oh my god. When I brake too hard, it seems to break the axles, the rear axles. Oh, really? Mine yeah, haven't broken you are pulling yet. Away. The brakes are also okay. like three times stronger than normal brakes, and they're still not strong enough most of the time. Okay. <laughs> That's why. Yeah, such is the trucker life. Yeah, you don't want to be going downhill on this thing. Oh, I'm so yeah. much faster than you. Whoops. Oh, no. Ah, okay. Never mind. High speed stability, not great. So, this is the solution to the trucker problem, <laughs> but people just don't want to be truckers, and now if companies start oh, yeah. building old Italian supercars, people will be more... more Toads my guts. Uh, I reckon that in fully know. work. Except for the fact you can't see over traffic for when there's like traffic hazards ahead where you need to brake early. Oh, yeah, left and right. It's still better visibility oh. than uh, in the I over truck. It. Yeah, it's like the Stein Winter, but a Scintilla oh, as well. Yeah. I think I, I keep I suck at up. Let's just go. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna dump the clutch. Three, two... One, go. I didn't jumpstart at all. <laughs> Come on. That's fine. On. Oh, you've got the lead. <laughs> no, you got the oh. lead. You, you, oh my yeah. God. I'm, this I'm, is surprisingly matched. Now you're pulling away. Yeah, I, I, I should have the top end. With the uh, extra horsepower? Think... Yeah, exactly. I just have torque. Okay, now that this is sorted, do you think it would be actually cheaper to transform a supercar? Because... <laughs> No. How, how much would like semi truck no! Oh, <laughs> you just lost your reload. Well then. Uh, no. Oh <laughs> this would be extremely expensive. Because they already start at the price of a truck. You ready to give us another countdown? Ready. Let's go. Three, two, one. Oh. 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 I tried oh, to dump the clutch. You please. ruined it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go again. Hold on. Hold on. I'm not uh, going to dump the clutch. I think I have to reset my vehicle quickly. Okay, right. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Alright, alright, we, we got the launch. Oh, come on. I got the clutch dump, and that power's coming in. Now, this is only a stock turbo system. It's not a race one. What it's are you doing back there? you make it to the finish line. <laughs> Reliability cool. test. Oh, okay, I need to go in first person. I cannot see where I'm driving normally. <laughs> POV cyber, park, cyber truck visibility. There. Okay, you just lost your thing. Yeah, no chance. Conclusion. eBay turbo kits. You win. <laughs> I think my vehicle's... Bro uh, yeah, not just one drive now. All right, well, I suppose the final thing to do... Oh, wow, the whole top just comes off. Weird. Handling test now between this and a normal vehicle. Let's find a very narrow street and see if we can do like three-point turns. Uh, all right, let's, uh, let's, let's pull up ahead. And we're going to see who can pull the tighter turning circle. So we have to start a little bit wide. God, I cannot see what I'm doing. 
This trailer is way too big. And then pull You're up against into the a curb. <laughs> and then we're going to measure how wide we go to make the full U-turn. Come, 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 come. There we go. There we go. Yeah, nice. Oh, okay. I could just make it over. I can't make it over the curb. God damn it! <laughs> Biggest wheels in the game, and you cannot make it over the curb. <sighs> yeah, I don't. I don't. I, I'm stuck. Should we do a crash test to end this video? Head to head? All and right, then, let's and, do that. And then the viewers judge which one was safer. Let's find a wall that we can crash into. No, no, into each other. Head to head. Start driving. Oh my god. Okay. Um. Okay. I'm going. And the viewers will judge which one is safer, which one they would rather be in. You know what? I think I need to start replay for this as well. Hopefully that'll work. Let's kiss. <laughs> now kiss. Okay, I don't think... I okay, Actually, it's a tough one. It's a tough one, actually. Are you sure? I mean... Because on my, I think my, my face is in the dashboard and on your side... You've got crumpled uh, knees. I've been crushed by my own trailer. <laughs> okay, viewers, you decide. <laughs> I think you've you fared a, a smidge bit better than me. Oh, look, On I have a transverse side. V8 now. You know what's not so yeah. bad, though? What is My it? channel members. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to your channel members. Yeah, shout out to the channel members. Oh, that uh, I may as well do it actually legit now. Yeah, that uh, specifically includes you, the rogue tech, the crown priest. I was just having a little bit of fun, but then I realized, you know what? Actually, I should probably actually just do the outro now. <laughs> God, this is one of the stupider mods I've ever made. I thought it was going to be so much better, but then the wheels just squat so much. I'm like, yeah, whatever. It still looks cool. Yeah, and isn't that maybe. the most thing important thing about trucking is looking cool?